Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. We are at event 8 of our season here, and we are ready to go. Um, the cars are in mostly good shape. I mean, we still don't have any custom suspension, and we only have one particularly good motor. Um, the other engine, even though it was designed, isn't like that much more impressive than the baseline. Uh, our drivers are apparently quite good for our um for our our division which is nice our car's about midline over here our headquarters are still poop but hey we're trying to upgrade our factory so hopefully we'll be able to get there we are going to go for the midline sponsor over here because it is pretty good uh reward that we can very consistently get which is going to be good we are going to spend a lot of money on this race but overall we're going to be ahead uh and yeah i'm going to leave the parts fitted as is uh it is going to be an overcast or so it says clear on both days like cloudy but clear so hopefully no rain uh it looks like about 19 degrees on both days so there might be some consistency there there's a chance there might be some rain we'll see how it goes tire on this track is supposed to be a little higher which is i guess why they give us uh soft and medium tires now I don't know if it makes sense to go to medium tires. I mean, we can drive a little bit more aggressively with them. And, you know, maybe maybe that's the trick. Maybe maybe we should try going to more medium tires and just go with a more aggressive driving profile uh, overall. It's warm enough that we should actually get a fair amount of stickiness with the mediums. I mean, it's not hot. It's not above 20. But 19 with a more aggressive driving profile? But it, does that work out to be about the same as just running soft tires with a standard driving profile? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Let, let's just do it. Weather forecast. No rain. Some sun. You know what? We're going to go all medium. All medium all at a time. Uh, so Luigi's already we, we're using the mediums. Downforce. Uh, we might... Uh, well, I think we'll leave the downforce more or less where it is. Um, and we'll shift you a little bit more towards acceleration. And a little bit softer in the suspension. I don't want to go too crazy here. Mm -hmm. A little more negative camber. Just a scooch, and then we'll see how that that goes. All right, so you'll have the mediums. That's going to be fine. And then Claudia. Um, we're also... I mean, we could split the difference. Obviously, we wouldn't get quite as much active knowledge of these different types. But we could have one person race on mediums and one pace, person race on softs and see how it goes. Although, if we're going to have someone do softs, it should probably be um, Luigi because he does have the more smoothness. Maybe we should run the mediums just because we still don't have control over her driving profile. Although, would that be okay? It might be, actually. You know what? Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll run her on the means and put him on the soft. Uh, or we just do everything on the mediums so that we can get the maximum level of performance boost. Which probably makes sense. You want, you're asking, your mechanic is asking for a lot of downforce. And honestly, I'm much more inclined to believe that this mechanic is correct. I'm betting we're going to go to Luigi's and we're going to add a lot more downforce to his design. Um, and what I'll probably do... Is I'm going to leave these where they are. All medium or not. I guess all medium. But yeah, we'll, we're going to give you some more downforce. Because I'm willing to bet that the other mechanics probably got a slightly better idea. Based on the relationship. So we're going to go and buff that out. And we'll see. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll take the practice. We'll run you each for a two-lap stint here. That's going to be fine. So just go with the defaults and send out. Uh, and actually, this will be an interesting uh, test to see what happens with the tire temperatures here. Assuming that tomorrow is very similar to today. We'll see how the, the temps work out. Make sure it stays at medium on our normal setting. So, our opposition is doing a mix of soft and mediums, which is probably fine. I mean, so we get an extra couple of laps out of this. I don't know what that does for us. Open handling, perfect gear ratio. Well, we got some numbers that are pretty good right from the start. We're just, I think we're just on the cooler side of, of middle, which is actually okay, because it makes me feel comfortable about potentially running um, slightly more aggressive And one thing is, we could run with a bigger fuel tank and then have a few more options for doing overtake maneuvers. And maybe that's something that we should be considering a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, see, so you need more downforce. I knew you would. I knew you would, even though your mechanic said otherwise. So, Luigi wants more downforce. So far, no, I don't think there's been any complaints. I think everything's been mostly where he wanted. 
Your setup knowledge is coming in a little slower. Can you bring you in now? Yes, excellent. So... Yeah, you're not happy. You want more downforce. You're good and good here. So there's going to be a slight tweak to both the handling and the speed balance by virtue of changing the downforce. So we'll see if that changes anything. We might want to do a little bit more to increase the chance of switching from good to great. Or from good to poor, which would also tell us something about the direction that we might want to go in. Um, so let's say I go and give a little bit, eh, rather negative camber. Um, let's go and bring down the gear ratios by one tick. That's a pretty big change. Maybe, you know what, maybe the suspension instead. Soften up the suspension just to tweak. It's about the same, I guess, one way or the other. Um, and I really don't want a big change. There, a little bit more tire pressure. That I like. Just slightly more of a shift so that we can see if these things change very much. Okay, go. And you're going to come in the next one. Gear ratios are just right. So I haven't seen a complaint from her. So we might be a little bit more blind as to which direction we might want to make some shifts in. Or she might actually just be that happy. The arrows were good. The gear ratios were good. Was the handling good as well? Let's see. Great. Great. Good. Well... Let's do this. I'm going to be curious to see if the speed balance has a big positive uptick or not. Most likely, we don't really want to see as much change in the handling. There. Just a tiny little scrooch. Okay. And we don't have anything in excellent, but that's alright. Yeah, and just, I don't know, race whatever is left. And yeah, I don't think you get more fuel. I mean, either way, you, I think there wasn't going to be enough room for another stop, but that's all right. We'll see if we got any more messages. Or if everyone's just super keen and pleased. Uh, happy with the gear ratios. Excellent. Weather's still holding out. They'll be very curious to see if we end up with the same weather tomorrow. If it ends up being a much colder day, then our choice to practice in mediums might hurt us here. Although, by any chance it's a warmer day, then we're going to be probably that much better off. If you can see, this temperature is having a hard time. You know, we probably will bring it up to push or something like that, just to keep the temp up a little bit on uh, Luigi's tires here. And we won't have any control over Claudia, because she's still doing her own thing. Need more downforce! Now, we did give you more downforce, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if we've got any, enough time to send you out one more. Probably not. Well, you're about to pit now. We're going to have enough time for an outlap. So that's going to be something. So you're still saying more downforce. So the first one was here. This one was here. You're still saying you don't have enough. That's good. I don't know if it's supposed to be one way or another. It was good. It's still good. Speed balance was great, so it was good here, great here, and now it's a little further towards acceleration because of the downforce, which we may or may not want. Well, let's let her go, and then we'll see what happens. Um, we may not get any more real information here, because he's not going to get to do a flying lap, but we might get a little bit of info on his outlap. Well, Claudia seems very pleased with our tuning this time. Makes me very happy. Weather forecast there, and that's the end of the time. So we might get a little bit more info in this third stint. Probably not much, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, 11 cars to finish. Yeah, I still don't know why the practice takes so damn long to finish up, but... There it is! Six. It's all these guys just lingering around. Five. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just just end it. Thank you. 
All right, let's see. Very curious to see how they feel. Sunny today. That bodes well. We want hot. 19 looks steady at 19 with some amount of sun. I think that's going to be very good for us. I'm going to be very happy. Um, I think nurse continues to be a good safe idea over here. And I guess we'll do the race trim. But Luigi can go with medium and race trim. So she's going to have some more flexibility in her tires. We could decide to switch things up because she doesn't have any innate bonus to any particular tire. Excellent, excellent. Well, there we go. So the downforce, poor, poor, okay. I suspect he still wants a little bit more. 17.5, 27.5. It is going to change the speed balance slightly, which I would prefer not to do, although the handling change isn't too bad. Good, good, good. So hopefully it doesn't send it out of good range. Okay, there's going to be a slight tweak to the speed balance. Slight tweak to the handling. But I think that's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, you're quite flexible in terms of what you're going to do. No, 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 no. You're the one who has to be on medium. So you're going to be on medium. And you may as well have the full fuel bonus because you're going to have more time with it. Meanwhile, downforce-wise, it's been great and great both times. Handling is excellent. We never got... And we're up to great there. 96%. Well, we're going to go with that. I mean, obviously. You've got flexibility because you have nothing specific with your tires. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to start you in the softs. Um, and I'm going to take two laps worth of fuel off of you. So this is going to be a slightly more aggressive initial profile. And I'm going to be okay with that. We don't get to control what you're going to do. But that's all right. And the um, these stats were on the medium tires, but we're going to start you on the soft and then switch you to medium afterwards. So when you start off, like, go right into, like, crazy mode right away and see if you can get ahead of some of the fray. Just start really aggressive. Which is really what I should do probably every time. Go! Oh, Luigi had a bad start there. He did not go right away. Which is a bit unfortunate. How are we doing? Ooh, Claudia managed a little bit of passing. Luigi's doing actually not too bad. Wow! Just squeezes by there aggressively. This is working out not bad. I'm a little bit worried about some collisions here, but good start. Claudia's doing well as well. Very nice to see. Weather forecast staying very stable. God damn. I think, I think there's just something innate about the car parts that we've got that also makes them particularly good for this circuit, perhaps. But, we, you know, we pulled out some good tuning. But Oh, Claudia passes Luigi and keeps going. She's in fifth now. Fourth now. Luigi getting a little bit stuck up in here. That's too bad. But she continues to do well. We'll keep you on aggro mode for now. I mean, your tires are still not warmed up anyway. Um, and I believe I did give you a full fuel tank configuration. She does not, because she did start on the softer tires, um, and we'll probably have to replace them sooner anyway. So I think it made sense to save a little bit of weight. Oh, let's go up to speed. Three. And yeah, right now, I'm still happy with this. How's the gap? 2.4, and about stable. 2.3. <sighs> Safety car. So someone had a bad crash. Why does it always happen so soon? No, we're not going to safety car on this one. Although, no. I mean, we can't go fast right now. The thing is, we'd still end up at the back of the, the pack. So, no. Let's go ahead and put you in full conservation mode for now. I'm going to lose some tire temperature doing this, but it should hopefully be okay. Fourth and fifth. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's got to be uh, some people have, like, poorly tuned cars going into some of these races. That's why I hit the problem so damn early. So this is going to stretch out some of our fuel. I wonder... On mediums. I wonder if there's any chance Luigi could make it through, because we're really not burning much fuel on this at all, if we could make it through with just one pit stop. Is that viable in any way whatsoever? So, seven laps of fuel left, so that will get you the tenth lap. Mm, no, not really. 
But yeah, look how cold the tires are going to get. That's a damn shame. So, I'll go ahead and follow the safety car for now. Yeah, I know your tires suck, but that's just the way it's going to be, man. Okay, you're heading to the garage, but I think you've got to... F I think you're going to hit the next pit, so I think there's going to be a whole other lap of this. Oh, is that your... Oh, no, that's just the way the track is set up here. I think that safety barrier just moved. Oh, there's the crash car. Wow, that is a bad crash. This car was on fire. I don't think we've seen something quite that bad before. So yeah, I think it'll wait until we get to the next pit. I'll just have to make sure to set my things at the right time. I mean, we'll probably see Claudia's change at the right time there, but... Hmm. I don't know if this has any impact. How's the weather forecast? It's still stable. Yeah, I wish I were on softs here, because I think... I think if we had been on softs, we'd be happier about this. Because our softs would last longer. So you are... You're leaving now, so we're going to go and... Overtake attack. And go. Oh my god, Claudia just crushing paths. I mean, she's got the overtaking skill. Fantastic. Ooh. Our two drivers are duking it out, which I guess is fine. Tires are still cold as hell. You got a lot of tire left. Especially on the mediums here, so... Let's go and bring you down a scrooch. Keep your tires lasting a little bit longer. I mean, we're, we're going to keep the intensity up, rather, but to bring the temperature up, but leave the fuel last a little longer. Do you have 74% tire left? It would suck if we had to stop because of lack of fuel rather than lack of tire, because we're going to be replacing the tires regardless, so the same amount of time is going to be used in the pit. And right now, are we in a position to overtake this person? Yeah, maybe, actually. Right here? Because you're, you're closing quite a bit. 0 0.4, 0 0.3 and change, Ooh, 0 0.8. Oh, you actually did a bad set of corners there, apparently. You get through. Actually, the fuel consumption, I think, is, is actually working out okay. We are being very aggressive on the tires, partially because we need to bring the temperature up, but it's still going to be pretty hard on our tire durability. There we go. Let's just leave you on high now. Split the difference a little bit. Claudia, I mean, we have no control over you. Uh, but right now, you're you're still good. Your tires are getting a little low, but I think well-paced between these two things. All right. Uh, we're going to switch you to mediums now. Because there's, there's more track grip. Temperature is the same. No rain coming. Uh, but they're going to come in nice and warm. That's going to be okay. Um... If you're going to be on mediums, you can have a full tank. That's going to be all right, and we'll figure out what we're going to do at the end. Parts are in great shape. Go. So Luigi did start with a full tank of gas, which is why he's got a lot more going on right now. But I think regardless, they're going to pit twice. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking some of these things. Good pit stop. That's nice to see. Maybe I'm overthinking it. It might have more to do with, like, timing of the pit stops and things, too. Okay, where's the pit stop? So you're in fourth, you're going to be here. Yeah, you're going to be fine to just do it on the next one. So there's the pit opening. You can actually go to overtake engine mode. Um, because you're going to have enough fuel to make it to the pit. You're keeping going with mediums because you've got the performance boost, which is going to be fine. Uh, so, 16 laps remaining. We'll go with 9 and change. We won't completely top it off, but it'll give us some ability to play. I don't know, I mean, both the pit times, okay, that's a, that's a second difference in the pit time, and it is going to slow us down a little bit with the fuel, so we'll go a little bit lower, that's fine. Your parts are good, yeah, standard pit is going to be fine, go, go, so you'll do that next time. So you've already done that again, we don't have any real control over what she decides to do, she's running the medium tires very hot and heavy, aggressive strategy right now, which I'm kind of okay with. Uh, she's probably going to be passing some people soon. Luigi in third now. Um, most likely the person first is going to have to pit now. I mean, the only reason we're having to pit is because of the fuel. Our tires aren't actually quite that dire. And I could probably be running my tires a lot more often. But, yeah, that's not too bad. So when you're going to come out, you're going to come out high and push. 
again. There's going to be another pit stop regardless. You've got a good amount of juice, uh, both the tires and in the tank, so you can be fairly aggressive, and I think that's going to be fine. You did still come out in seventh, which is great. Meanwhile, Claudia's worked her way all the way up to fifth, and first through fourth haven't done their pits yet. And again, they will pit twice. No, they, they can't not pit twice, I'm sure. They just, again, they don't have the fuel, so... Um, that's going to be quite nice. She's running her tires insanely hot. Weather forecast continues to be stable throughout. Yeah, yeah, you should, probably should start going on them easy. There you go. Nice for you to make that decision to not try to trace the traction. You're going to go conserving. That's fine. Tire temp is actually very reasonable here with Luigi. I'm pretty pleased with that. Goddamn, second and fifth. Well, again, there were some pits going on. Everyone's basically done their first set at this point, but this has been a very performant race. How's your car condition? So far, so good. Hopefully that transmission holds out. Nice if you get past this guy, because you're having kind of a hard time. Still overtake mode. Just get past him. So you're having a hard time doing it with just overtake normally, but... Oh, almost! Come on. Maybe there's some opportunities after all. We have pretty good brakes, but no, that didn't do it. Alright, just go back in the high. We'll revisit you. Claudia, alright, you're conserving fuel right now for some reason. You still managed to do some overtake. Oh, you're defending right now in conservative mode. And I mean, maybe if I wasn't running the game super fast, maybe I'd be microing their stuff a lot more, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like that much fun. Uh, you're conserving your tires. Well, they are pretty goddamn hot. But right now, there's no pit called for yet, not for either person. I think our strategy is going to be relatively balanced here. Fourth place. Long distance between you and third. So as long as you keep defending, and actually you're extending your, your defense a little bit right now, so that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Alright, Claudia, there's a pit. So yeah, you have, uh, you have another full lap before we can well pit you. So that's going to be fine. Bum, 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 bum. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. You're okay. Second between you and fifth. As long as you don't make a mistake, you're going to be fine. All right. So you're about to pass the pit lane now. Good. So we're schedule your pit. Um, so you really don't have a whole lot left. Nine laps remaining. We're going to give you nine and change um and uh, you actually might not be able to finish on slicks if i was being conservative you probably could but i can't guarantee that so we're gonna have to put you in another round of, of um mediums remember that she doesn't have a performance boost to mediums so it was a little bit more flexible there all right i think that's good hopefully you don't burn through your stuff too aggressively we need you to finish without another pit stop and i can't guarantee that with her which is a little well her tires will be fine she has a little bit of excess fuel, so it's probably going to be a okay. Meanwhile, Luigi, it'll be a big question as to whether or not it's important to finish on mediums. Because there's not going to be that much lap left, or a uh, race left, but at the same time, we have the 10% uh, the performance boost. And, I mean, the temperature is very good for the medium, so probably we will. So, Luigi, you're over here. Um... What you're going to do is you're going to go to overtake mode, and we will schedule a uh, pit stop here, because I don't think there's any reason not to. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Doing this, schedule a pit before you pass it, because otherwise bad things will happen. Medium, so seven laps remaining, so we'll have to give you seven and change, which means you can keep going pretty aggro. Your parts are good. All right, pit. Excellent. So you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, you have a bad pit. That's a shame. I think you can come out on, on high, high over here, and that's going to be all right. There's Claudia burning past us. Yeah, that was a bad pit. But still, still fourth and fifth. Uh, first and second will have to pit before the end. Um, again, probably more for fuel than for the actual um, tires, but that's not bad. And yeah, there's probably a lot to say about like pitting strategy based on like where other people are and, and whatnot, but I don't know. Uh, ooh, it does not say excess fuel. Okay. 
It should. I wonder if I should run you in low until it says excess fuel here. Just for safety. I mean, we might get there with medium. Where's the start-stop over here? So when we hit 20, there's going to be six laps left. And you're about halfway through and you got six and a half. I think we're going to be okay. I think we may have to go and conserve for a second here. Because 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, six laps left. Uh, right there, so lap 20. You've got... Yeah, you may have to go and conserve for just a scooch. And what happens right when someone passes us. Just waiting for that excess fuel sign to come up, and then we can go back to normal. Because, I mean, running out of gas would be pretty bad. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that would be pretty bad and hurt our race a lot. There we go, excess fuel. Okay. So now it's, it's expected that we will finish with some fuel left in the tank. Really probably not much, depending on exactly how he drives, but I'll have to confirm. And yeah, the problem is if Claudia somehow burns through too much fuel. She had a, a, a more excess from her pit stop, though, so I suspect there's a much bigger margin of error left in there. Can't do anything about it, so now you're down to sixth. I mean, they're probably burning a little bit more aggressively with the fuel. I mean, we were hoping that we'd get faster pace times from having less fuel in the tank, but maybe, like, maybe I should just always fill up my fuel tank to the max and just be more aggressive. I don't know. I don't know the, the, the game mechanics enough to know which is the most important way to work this. Maybe you want more fuel when you're probably going to be in a pack so that you can be, you know, do more crazy overtake maneuvers. And then when you are a little bit more spread out, you want less fuel so that you just get more efficient lap times overall. That might be the way to go. So you have lap 22, your tires. I don't think we want to go any hotter than this. Um, I mean, when we get the last lap, we'll probably go crazy. But I think right now, if we did it, we'd burn too much of our tire off. I'm not sure. 23. Um... Yeah, it'd probably be a little too crazy. Plus, there's a chance that we'll lock up and then really burn off a lot of our tire quite quickly. We're down to 55. We're nearly at, yeah, two laps remaining. Okay, we have to ignore your transmission problems, although that's very disappointing. So now there's two laps remaining, 2.17 lap, uh, laps of fuel left, which is good. 52% tire. I think we can go to and push you to attack. I think that's going to be fine with the tires here. You'll burn through a lot of it, but I th it's not gonna. You're not gonna run out of tire by the end of the race. And maybe we could have done it sooner. Maybe I'm just way too conservative all the time with the tires. I mean, again, we're doing as well, if not better, than we're overall expected to. But you know, maybe we could be doing even better than this. So Claudia's really not gonna add end with a lot of fuel left, because yeah, with one lap left, she's at like 1.1. She's actually running an overtake right now, which has me a little scared. Still says um, excess fuel, which is good though. Um, and likewise, we might be able to do fine an overtake here. Overtake might be a little too risky. But let's see what we can do. If we can get ahead of this guy and then drop it back down to medium, that would be swell. Still says excess. Still says excess. And the pass... Let's drop to... Oh, low fuel warning. Let's drop to medium. Oh yeah, we're still going to be fine to finish the race, though. Woo! Okay, third and fifth overall. That is going to do huge things for our positioning. Huge things. We ran out of fuel right after the finish line. Uh, I don't think... I mean, we could have cut it a little tire, tighter on the tires, but we could not really have cut it any tire on the, tighter on the fuel. And I mean, so again, clearly it must be doing something kind of right, because our team's not supposed to be quite this good, and we're doing very good with it. And that's with investing a lot into the future by, um, by developing the factory which will not help us at all this entire season, but going forward will. So, scrutineering, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. So, one of our um, our gearboxes was caught. So, someone's going to drop down two places. It's Luigi. So, he goes down two, um, which is fine, I guess. I mean, overall, it, yeah, everything's okay. So, now we end up third and seventh instead of third and fifth. But we still have a podium finish over here. Good points for Claudia. Her overall ranking is going to be pretty good. We're 7th and ninth overall, which is nice, and our team is in 5th. In fact, tied for 4th place as well, which feels really good. So, the one of the downsides, though, is we did just lose one of our transmissions. 
Oh, we have two races left. I don't think that's worth developing a new... Well, it actually... I think it is worth developing a new transmission for. Because we've got the money. We may as well start developing another part. Um, I, it may not be ready for the next race. Actually, it might still be ready for the next race. Now, gearbox is not considered one of the crucial things for the next race. It's actually engine. Now, that's kind of interesting to consider. Alright, so... Luigi does not have a gearbox. He's the one that got caught. So he would go back to one of our normal ones. Over here. Which, I mean, we could develop a little bit. We could work to just improve this one. Because this engine is not fantastic. The reliability is, is deceptive because we um, we have to repair the cars. We've got this, and then the Black Sea is our last race where we do... Acceleration is crucial. Although top speed is still important. No, I'm, I'm going to... You know what? We can get an engine for this one, and we can get a um, we can get a gearbox for the next one. It's going to be fine. So I want to design a legal engine. We can have three slots on this one, and we can't have great because we don't yet have the test track. But we can do this. That's going to be a lot of potential top speed. The thing is, it's that's the the potential top speed, not our current one. We'd have to spend a lot of time developing it. I mean, this would still be better than uh, one of our current engines, because we're currently rocking engines at... 156, which is capped, and 126, which is capped. So this new one, by itself, will come in at 145. It's interesting that this one... Oh, 40 to max. Okay, that's why. And then it increases the cap. Or, I mean, we could increase its current reliability. Or, we could make an illegal engine. It would be goddamn fast right out of the box with basically no need to tune the performance. Like, what's funny is this version here could become almost as good. Almost as good. It would hit a cap of 196, whereas this one here would come in at 195, cap of 206. So, roughly the same quality engine. The difference is this would take a lot of performance tweaking to get it up there. On the other hand, it would be legal forever. Epic gets locked behind, what, test track level 2. Like, we would never have to worry about losing this engine, so the investment would be okay. On the other hand, here we could focus entirely on just raising its reliability. You know what? I'm going to go for short-term gain on this. It's fine. We'll probably... Oof, that used up a lot of money. Um, a lot of money, but that's okay. Interview? Sure. What do you want to say? Podium? Yes. Uh, I'm a genius. Um, really have to... Thanks go to Claudia. Oh, she was already capped on, on morale, but that's okay. Park man? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's going to be fine. So, let's just wait for the repairs to finish. Oh, and some performance work is about to finish as well. Oh, because it's entirely focused on this one transmission. The the only one gearbox that we still have. It's interesting, the part is still in our list. It's just banned, but it's still in the list. Um, I mean, we can keep running this good engine for now. I'm wondering if we should give it some love. The brakes are okay. But we could get more performance out of these brakes. Which is a crucial thing for the next one. Actually, acceleration is not crucial for the next one. Let's put that gearbox on hold. Let's do this and this. Squeeze out some more performance from our brakes. Which actually will be ready before the race. That's actually very nice. Okay, car repair is finished. Uh, oh, we're going to vote on having longer practice sessions. I think I'd be very much in favor of that, because I feel like I could probably squeeze more things out of it if we get there. Oh, new sponsorship slots. Um, Notify. Second or above. No flat payment. 3.2 times bonus in Russia. We have to end up top two. I'm not just wait and see if we get someone else, because that feels kind of difficult to do. 
right, these are other races, ones we're not involved in. Male. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would vote in favor of longer practice sessions. And that's improved. Excellent. So now we can probably get a little bit more tweaking involved, which is great. I mean, I'm sure it helps the other teams too, but I don't know. I'm quite keen on here. Performance work is done. Now, that doesn't pause, which I oh, does annoy me a little bit because... Um, I mean, I know what they do. They go and put all the efforts then into the reliability side instead. But I would rather it pause and give me a chance to do something. Um, so, you're using... Yeah, you're stuck on your original gearbox. Uh, which we are not... We might be able to get a new one by the next race. This one's almost capped, and it has a chance of being caught. So, I'll tell you what. We'll go and improve this original gearbox. Um, because it'll still help you out a wee bit. We got everything weighted that way. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, more sponsor options. Excellent. Anything better? They both want second or above. At least this one will give me a flat payment. Sure. You know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and take you. They're both kind of unlikely. Uh, eighth or above. Half a million. There we go. That works out well for me. I'm okay with that one. As long as we got one that can, we can work with, then that's going to be A-OK. -okay. okay. Engine design is done. So we need to make sure that we are focusing on this new engine. Uh, is it worth putting in the performance boost? I'm actually not sure about that. Certainly the reliability, and that's what we want to focus on. Um, we're going to send everything over on the reliability side like this. Try to get as much as possible before the race. And then, yeah, go ahead and keep working on the performance there. Does that... Oh, it does. If we have no one... Right, because we'll get the passive bonus. So that's going to be okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I guess I guess we'll go ahead and improve. Well, you know what? No, we'll just put all the effort into the original gearbox that won't ever get blocked or banned. Okay, I guess we'll put a cut in here. So we have uh, we have two more sessions left. Thanks for watching. See you next time.